Let's keep on seeing how easy and intuitive Curator is to use. Let's look at this offense, for example, 916 traffic from untrusted network to trusted network. So again, as we have been saying before, you, you display the rules that rule all rules that fire onto this. For example, if we want to investigate this one, that is, you know, compliance traffic uh, tr from untrusted network to trusted network, and we click in it, we see, and we showed before this, you know, how you play with building blocks, and we have two building blocks of network definitions, you know. But but one thing that is actually might be good to show you now is how easy it is to when you this is actually how our POCs go. We, we we set up the box, and we all we need to do is tell the tool what are what are your networks, you know, what is your DMC, you know, what are your remote networks, and let me show you an example on how we will do this definitions that we have in our, you know, in this uh, demo system. And, you know, uh, if you were to define this, you can add one, of course, and you can actually modify uh, what you what you have existing here. It's a dummy trusted network. And we can actually click here and see how it was defined. All you need to do, you put the cider, you know, that defines that network, you know, all the parameters like the weight that you want to give in terms of the offenses, you want to put this in color, and this has to do with the uh, with the uh, QRM that we'll show you before that shows you the topology of of of, of, of your network. So and that's how easy it is to actually uh, define your, your network. And for example, one of these building blocks that we use for for the example of the offense that we were talking before, uh, we consider uh, an untrusted network, the wireless network. And if actually, if we were to look at the at the at the building block, we'll see that uh, it is the wireless network, the one that we consider uh, untrusted on that building block. Let's uh, keep looking at more offenses. So let's look at uh, another offenses. For example, this one, 938, uh, sensitive data in transit. This is one capability that Curator has asked for 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 a long time. So let's see how this uh, this one actually works again by looking at display rules and then we see this is a policy that says sensitive data in transit hmm let's take a look at it and see why is that how is that rule built it says well you know again on a local system when the application is web this is you know HTTP HTTPS type of stuff and when the source payload matches the regex credit card number. So we have a regex built into the system uh, for, for things that you and you can build your own, of course. Uh, that the things that you want to look for, things that are sensitive to your company, and because we have the capability of inspecting every packet that passes through the network, and we look by default, we, we we look at the first 64 bytes. You can actually change that and make it bigger. Of course, that that's going to impact on your on your disk space. Uh, on the appliance, but uh, you know, we, we we inspect the content of every packet that goes in there, and we can look for things. Like in particular case, in this particular case, we are looking for uh, 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 credit card uh, type of data. And so, so we know how this rule works. Let's actually see what is it that the system detected. So let's look here at the flows because this is typically because it's, co it's, it's the content is not just a log entry and event uh, is more typically to be found on a flow. So if we click here on the flows we can see you know all sort of flows in here and let's actually click on the first one. Notice that there is a C there and that means that we've been able to look at the content. We've been able to grab content on this packet. Not, not, notice how nicely we actually parse and match each of the contents of the both the headers as well as the as the payload itself. So, so here is the content of the actual payload. Well, look at that. This is Facebook. Hmm, interesting. And you know, if we scroll down all the way to the bottom of it, we should be able to see. That there's some credit card data. Uh, what is it? I don't see it. Let's keep scrolling down. Uh, well, it's hard for me to see for a human, but not for a for a regex. And here it is. You know, uh, is this credit card number, and it's not really the, just the the, the 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 it fire on the on the regex, but notice that it also found. It's interesting. Some social 
security numbers as well being sent. So this rule, you know, not only we know that it's, uh, by the way, you can actually set this up to detect when these things go to Facebook or any any type of uh, site that you want. So we, we could have detected that this was actually going to Facebook automatically, but uh, the, we didn't set the rule. But again, you can, you, we have shown you how easy it is for you to modify and uh, make better the, the the rules that the, the that the appliance comes already preloaded with. Let's continue looking at some offenses. Uh, let's look at uh, what which one we haven't seen here. This one, for example, 906. And this this is interesting because it shows you how we we get events from many components and in, in this particular case this is actually from an endpoint i actually saw this uh, this offense before so if we click here on the events we are going to be able to see that this came from uh, an endpoint it can be big fix or you know mcafee semantic whatever you use for your endpoint that you know uh, tells you that uh, there's actually been indication of exploitation of uh, you know there's a an executable ntos kernel the exe you know so that that the endpoint found and pass that on to us so we we can do as we've been doing so far we can display the rule or rules that fire up from this particular event and this particular rule is actually this is this attack is actually part of a ddos uh, type of attack and, and we can see, you know, the definition, if we were to look at that uh, building block, we'll see, you know, further down how this actually uh, got to fire on all these events. So.